Yannick Blassi bore the brunt of criticism from supporters after Aston Villa suffered a 3-0 defeat to Wigan Athletic. The winger has struggled for consistency ever since joining the club on loan from Everton and Saturday was no different. Can Villa afford a Kogia transfer? Adoma, El Ghazi, and Bilassi have all been underwhelming or disappointing to varying degrees. Jack Millman at EVFC, Jack 29, January 12, 2019 An apt show from Subhouse was off the pace and why Waylon was introduced when another striker might have changed our luck cost us dear. Our squad options need to be so much better, or a fourth at Sky Bet Champ seasons in the offing. Johnny Gould, at Johnny Good, January 12, 2019 Belassi's final ball is woeful 90% of the time. Believe we could better spend his wage elsewhere. Not good value for money today that's for sure. Rob Aston, at Roba19, January 12, 2019 Jonathan Kogia is light years better than Balassi, El Ghazi and Adoma combined. If he leaves I'll be so disappointed. He also had five unsupported touches, more than any of his teammates, and gave away two fouls. The 29-year-old has made 20 championship appearances for Villa this season, scoring and creating six goals. Balassi has created 19 chances and made 21 successful dribbles, but he's clearly not recaptured his form since picking up a serious knee injury. Balassi has only completed 42% of his dribbles, has made 43 unsuccessful touches and been dispossessed on 25 occasions. His spot in the Villa side could see be up for grabs if he continues to turn in below par performances. Saturday's defeat sees Dean Smith's men sitting 12th in the table, 5 points adrift of the playoffs. Crippy Cook's previous article, Awful Ugin, horrendous, some Aston Villa fans weren't happy with defenders' performance. <laughs>